Hello, in this video we are gonna see how we can stop uh, WordPress spam, the spam that may come to your uh, comments or to your registration forms or to your contact forms. To do this we are gonna use uh, Cloudflare that offers a free web application firewall that can help us block uh, all of these spams for, for free without a plugin or anything like that. So this will not impact your website performance. So in this video, I have this uh, website that I want to, to block the spam that is coming to the contact page, that is coming to the comments area, or uh, when uh, a user registers to, to, be, to be blocked. Cloudflare can help us do this. In the past, I also created a video that will help you protect your UP admin area on XML RPC. I will, I will let a link into the description on the, in, this, in this video. So this is the Cloudflare interface. For To do this, we just need to go to the domain that we have in Cloudflare. And under security, we have the web application firewall area. Okay, and in here, just for you to see, I have created uh, uh, spam one already, but we'll create one from scratch and just uh, for you to see what this thing has. In, you see here, like uh, <clears throat> you have some requests that were already challenged. The login page that uh, has the registration the path it's actually login.php and with the query string register, action register, the contact page, and we have others. Let's see for the comments. Okay, this is the challenge that is coming to the comments. So with the with a query we can uh, we can block the, the spam. So let's see how we can configure this and go in details with all the settings that we we need to do. So let's go to the Windows application firewall and let's create a firewall rule for this. We have three three five rules that we can apply in the in the free in the in Cloudflare free. So uh, let's do that. All of this will be under one one rule. So let's do a stop UP spam. Okay, this is the name that we're gonna give to our rule. In here we have the fields that we need to choose. And for the first part, we're gonna choose to stop the uh, comment part. We can put the URI that contains the URL and contains the operator. In here we have the options to equal, do not equal, contains, or do not contain. So the if a URL will contains the value for the comment, and that will be the comment post PHP. I will let it like this. So in case a URL will contain the command dash post dash PHP, it will uh, it will be challenged. Okay. Actually, the full name is the up comment post. I have also an article written here that you can go and visit it and see all of these details and comment if you want. Okay, this is for the comments. Next, we're gonna go and uh, do an or the query string. This time, we're gonna do the registration challenge. So um, WordPress registration, it comes with the uh, query string from the UP login. So for instance, if we go in here and we try to register, okay, if we hit the register button, it will redirect us to the UP login.php and the query string is called action.register. So, uh, I will, well, I'll want to block everything that starts with register and has this query string in it. 
to be to be safer. Also, in case you have other plugins like memberships and you have different URLs, you need to adapt this URL in function of your uh, your, your plugins because some of the plugins may may change this default behavior and utilize his own specific path for the for the registration. So this applies to the default WordPress things. Okay, so we have the registrations protected right now. Next, we're gonna go and use the OR operator and we're gonna protect our contact page. And for the contact page, we're gonna use the path that contains the contact in our case the contact page let's go and open this it's under contact directly i don't have a form right now but uh, in case of form it will have been here it will have been protected so uh, this is the contact page the url that that i have Okay, and uh, right now let's uh, let's move to the next step. So uh, let's go and uh, choose the block options for this. And we in here we have like JS challenge. This is a JavaScript uh, challenge. Some the some of the automated bots that let these comments is JavaScript. So you should choose this. Also, you have another option is here, like legacy Kapacha. This is more strong and it will prompt for a Kapacha to be resolved. So you can uh, test it and see if you still have spam after you choose the JS yes challenge, can use the legacy, uh, legacy Kapacha. For us to test this thing right now, I will uh, use the legacy Kapacha just to see uh, to see it in, in action and next we're gonna deploy the firewall rule for instance if you have other application other plugins that are or applications that is are using this this you can also uh, allow them with the and in here and for instance if you have the ip of the vps you can put it in you can put it in in, in here to allow it can also allow you can add your domain name as a refer and uh, it will be allowed so this is in case you have like plugins applications that are are using some of these pads and may have problems after you enable this i don't have anything like that so i will not gonna use uh, refer wordpress i will let it to be as secure as possible with this. Okay, right now we're gonna deploy the firewall rule. Okay, right now this rule, it's, it's activated. Stop the spam command too, you see here, which is the legacy Kapacha. Another thing that you need to consider is in tools, you have some IP regions that uh, you can allow or disallow, and this will affect the uh, firewall rule. So, for instance, if you allow in here the your country, and uh, and the, in that case the rule will not uh, uh, apply the challenge to the to the IPs coming from from that that country. So you need to to understand how this is working. In case you have some IPs here or ranges, it will not uh, prompt the to not prompt the challenge for that uh, for, for that IP. In this way you can also allow your applications if you have external applications that are using that endpoints to 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 do the things like post comments maybe or register or comments. Okay? And in the settings area you have the challenge passes so basically in here is the time after someone passes the challenge to receive the next challenge. Right now, I let it to five minutes because I uh, I wanted to to do some 
So I'll test and see how this thing is working. So right now, if we uh, if we go and uh, and do a, a test, let's go and I will not go to the contact page. I'll try to register, for instance. Let's see if we hit the register. We should have the challenge. So this is actually the challenge. It, and it seems that I'm a legit user and let uh, let me press it future. We will test also with some comments after five minutes. We need to wait five minutes for this for this rule to, to expire. So right now if you go under off, we should have something in here. Let's see. Usually it takes a couple of minutes for this to refresh that, that graph. So you see here my IP address. And in here you see that I've tried to access the UP login with the action register and the country and everything. And uh, yeah, this was allowed because it seems that I am a legit, legit user. So let's wait for a couple of minutes and see if we can uh, have the same thing when we try to post a comment. So I'll pause this. Five, min five minutes have passed since we've uh, done the test with the registration and now let's go and uh, test the comment. So I'll go to the website, let's go and uh, choose an article in here and let's try to let a comment and see what is happening. I already did some test comments in before. Test comment two. I'll do it like this. And you see that right now we are uh, trying to pass the to pass the challenge. So it uh, it sees that we are a human and it, it let us post the post the comment. Let's go and see what it is in the firewall rules. So in here you see that for instance right now we have two two, two issues. One was solved. The comment is not uh, is not appearing in here, we will see it after, but let's see. In here we should have everything. So for instance, you see that first it was the registration, then someone tried to let a comment that this thing was not uh, resolved. So someone from Russia Federation tried to do a comment that uh, was with a boot and, boot, and this was blocked. And in here you see IIP that was, was allowed for the post comments. Okay, let's go back and see. Also, there is this documentation with the firewall, firewall actions that uh, are recommended to, to, to use. So for, for, for this test, we use the legacy Kapacha and in here you will see what exactly is happening. I will let a link in the video description for, for this. In here you see the JS yes, challenge, what this means. And the recommendation is uh, to use the manage challenge. This is what they're recommending. They will uh, try to see uh, if it's a, a boot or things like that. So Cloudflare will try to understand what is happening. So for the the, the best protection, you should do the man, manage challenge. So I will go and activate this also right now just to see. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the website and activate that because that is the safest way. Okay. If he is in here, you see the three requests to our salt. Let's go and edit this. And in here we should choose the manage challenge recommended because it's the better one that will, uh, will do a, a better job as the coffee will will apply what he knows best. So we hit save. For the contact, if someone will try to access the contact page, it will just uh, go and uh, do, uh, it, will, it will be prompting for the, for the challenge. So in, in, this, in this way, you are using Cloudflare to protect your WordPress website from spam comments on, or spam registrations, or you or to protect your contact form. I hope you enjoyed this, this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and, and, and like. Have a nice day and see you next time.